What we have here is a root ball from a holly shrub. And I'm going to try to turn it to be a, a vase. I think I'll make this in the bottom and this in the top. Hollow out from up here. I don't think I like it that way. It make the top small and the bottom large. I think I want them to do it this way. I've got a bad spot there. I don't know how that's going to work out. Unfortunately, I <clears throat> taking it out of the ground. I cut that, and I didn't. I shouldn't have. I didn't want to. Well, anyway, I'm going to get it mounted up in the lathe and see if I can start turning it. Make a tenon down here on this end and get it in my chuck. And we'll take it from there. Get back to you. I've got it shaped. I'm going to put a hole in that end, but it has to be sanded now. The piece is really wet. Now I'm leaving all this, because that's what makes it neat. All this, you know, all that kind of stuff. The fact that the base down here is not totally round, and all this in here. I think that's going to be really neat. And the top up here has got a, a little divot in it. But that's all natural. I don't, I don't want to take that away. So that's what it's looking like. I'm going to sand it and start with 80 grit. And I'll work it down to, uh, oh, I don't know, 400 grit with the drill. And then uh, with a sanding disc on it. And then I'll probably uh, do some hand work. Uh, for, oh, anywhere from 6 to 800 grit. I want to... Where it's smooth, I want it really smooth. So it'll take a good shine. All right, so I'm gonna get to sanding. I'll be using battery operated drill with that on the end. I'll get back to you when I get done. Well, I've got it sanded down to 600 grit and it's as slick as a baby's bottom. And now I'm gonna put some Zenheiser sanding sealer, which is nothing more, I think, than diluted shellac. And kind of seal it off before I drill a hole in the end of it here. So I'm going to be doing that next, and I'll show you what that looks like. Well, here's what a drill setup looks like. I'm drilling a hole. This is a Forstner bit, and I've got a chuck in there to hold the bit. And all you do is crank the knob. And as you can see, it just goes right in. So I'm going to keep cranking away here until I get it down to about, about here, I think. Then I'll stop. Well, it's dried overnight. And uh, I'm surprised. It actually feels really dry. So I think I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, clean it with a little alcohol, get it nice and clean. I don't believe I'm going to sand it. I thought it might be a little rough this morning, but uh, I might run some 800 grit over it. Just a little bit uh, by hand. And then I'll be ready to put a finish on it. I think I'm going to finish this with uh, high gloss lacquer. I've got a can of of this Rust-Oleum, and it works really well. Gives a really a brilliant shine, which for something like this I really like. I don't like the oil shines because the oil eventually soaks in or dries up, and then you got to re-oil it. It just doesn't. It doesn't last for the long run. So, well, I'm going to sand it with a little uh, 800 grit by hand. And then I'm going to take it off. I'm going to leave a tenon on. I don't know how. Usually I, I turn it around and put a make a pressure fit on this end. 
and then you use the gouge to cut the tenon off. But this end is, uh, you know, it's got some divots in it, and it's it's not the strongest. So I, I, I'm afraid it won't work. So I don't know. I have to think about that. I'm thinking about just moving it out just a little bit and taking a saw and sawing it off. The only thing I noticed is the bottom of this thing is really hard. Uh, I sand. I had that my tin was just a little bit thick, a little long, and I sanded it uh, with some 80 grit paper. And man, I tell you, it took a lot of work. And I don't want to screw the bottom up, so I, I don't know. It's, it's going to be a, a challenge. But I'm sure it'll get done. So uh, well, let me get sanding. Oh, one other thing. I just drilled that out. The, the top there is about as thin as I, I want to make it. So I didn't use a gouge. And I'm clear down to here. And... If I thin this out, I'm afraid I'd get into this, and then this is weak. So I just used the drill, went in there, and and that's it. That's I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put my gouge in there and, and thin this wall out. I think it needs the thickness to hold the integrity. And you know, after all, what are you gonna put in that anyway? <laughs> uh, pencils. So uh, all right, enough of that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get sanding and get to work here. Well. I think I got it finished. I used a, a Japanese pull saw to uh, cut the tenon off. Couldn't do it on the lathe because remember the top is too too fragile. And I got uh, I don't know four or five coats of gloss clear ultra cover, whatever that is. I don't know. I think it's lacquer. It smells like lacquer. But, uh, you know, I'll put it upstairs someplace nice and give a final review. But not too bad. Really a unique piece. I think I like it. I think it's going to be real, real pretty. Kind of gnarly and, whoops, sorry about the thumb. Gnarly and kind of ugly. But kind of, I guess that's its natural beauty, its ugliness. So uh, I'm going to take it upstairs, put it on a nice table, get some light on it, take a little shot for final review. Here it is. I don't know which is going to be the front. Well, the light's not real good in here. Let's see if I can get better light. I thought the light would be pretty good in here, but I guess it's not. I think this will be the front. That kind of gnarly thing looks pretty good too. That's definitely the back. Yeah, that's got to be the front. Yeah. Well, that's it. Oh yeah, this over here. This is a uh, bowl I turned. It was a, let's see if I can get better light. This was a apple stump off of an apple tree, the root ball. Turned out pretty neat. This is the front right here. Beautiful front there. And that's kind of the front too. The insides is real pretty. It looks like a skeleton face. Anyway, someone asked me why I don't show all the work I do you know take the gouges and using the gouges and all this sort of thing why well, I don't show that because I think it's boring uh, 
I think all you need to do is see what it looked like beforehand. Each step, what I'm going to do. You don't need to watch what I'm doing, just what I'm going to do. If you'd like to watch people turn, why you can go to some other website and watch them. But it gets kind of boring, I think. 30 minutes of watching somebody turn a piece of wood on a lathe and watch the shavings fly. I, so anyway, and then you want to see what uh, what the final is. So that's what I think. You let me know. What do you think? Should I show more of the working time? Or should I do like this video and just tell you what I'm going to do and then not do any, not show you any of what I'm actually doing? So you let me know in the comments below. And in the meantime, Give me a thumbs up. I'd like to see that algorithm work for me. Now you can't find my channel unless you're actually good looking for it because no one is uh, giving me a thumbs up, sharing, do all that good stuff. So anyway, appreciate you watching and we'll catch you on the rebound. Bye now.